Oh, you're not going to be burned. It's not like a scary movie. When I saw the machine, I instantly thought about being in Star Wars and the laser is coming down. Pew, pew, pew. The machine looks like it could do that, but you really don't feel anything on, the, on your skin itself. This is how my skin looks on this side compared to the unradiated side. So the rule of thumb is generally if you go in the sun and you tan, this side will get tanner. If you normally get a little bit pink or red in the sun, then you'll expect to see a little pinkness. It's not going to burn while you're in the machine, but what can happen is you can feel a little more tender. It, it is tender. Um, I was told that it's like inflammation and not to smash. Don't sleep on, don't squish your boob. Take some ibuprofen for inflammation, maybe at night while your body's recovering is what the nurse suggested to me. Just moisturize the shit out of it. This is one of my favorites. Similar to Aquaphor, but it's natural and it doesn't have the petrolatum. Olive oil, beeswax, honey, royal jelly, and propyl cream. Just get some cheap bras or soft bras and just throw away shirts and just slather the hell out of yourself the whole time. Uh, I'm going to do it at least three weeks after. I was told basically that the radiation will be cumulative so maybe you'll get more tender or more red or change you might feel some changes even two to three weeks after the radiation it's kind of like carryover cooking i think if you take care of your skin well and just be really gentle with it it shouldn't feel any burning and you shouldn't have too much changes on your skin and, and rest take care of yourself